I've never felt more loved by anyone than her. And, and I don't know that I've ever felt the way I feel about her towards anyone either. You know, even in the very beginning when we were friends, it was just something that has fit together like a puzzle piece. And, and we just fit together. Have you thought about marriage? Oh, absolutely. You know, I can't ask a woman to marry me without having any idea in sight when we can actually be in the same house. You could see in his eyes that he loves this woman with all his heart. His second chance, he wants to do it right, and he wants to make her the happiest woman in the world. Bye, ABC. We're the boys in the hot chick family. Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Kenny, the dad. I'm Teresa, the mom. I'm Tucker, I'm 14. I'm Brianna, I'm 17. I'm Erica, I'm 18. I'm Chelsea, I'm 16. I'm Justin, I'm 14. What you've got here is the makings of basically a modern-day Brady Bunch. You've got Kenny Mahajak and his two kids, Erica and Justin, and then you've got Teresa Fullerton and her three kids, Brianna, Chelsea, and Tucker. Kenny and Teresa each went through their own divorces. Then Teresa moved back to Lincoln, Nebraska, and ended up meeting Kenny at a hockey game. I had never been to a hockey game in my life. Good place to find me. Yeah, <laughs> that's where you'll find him. So we got to talking and so on and so forth. And, and he's telling me things that I didn't even realize I was looking for, but yet I knew I was missing in my life. That he is this involved father, that he is this person that is a genuine man. That touched me. I excused myself, went to the restroom, and cried. And my girlfriend followed me, and she said, what's wrong? And I said, I didn't know men like him existed. I didn't know that they were really out there. With all my heart, I would give him the world because he has given me everything. I would be completely empty and lost if I didn't have him. <laughs> Kenny and Teresa desperately want to make it official. They want to get married. There's just one problem. There's no place for all of them to live. Right now, Teresa and her kids are living in this really, really tiny apartment. And then Kenny and his kids are living in this two-bedroom house that the foundation's literally falling in on itself. You can see all the cracks of the bricks that are coming through this wall. I've tried to seal some of them up but the wall is beginning to bow. There's no money to fix up his place, and really with no other options, these guys basically spend their time bouncing back and forth between, you know, one house and the other house, when all they really want is just a place to bring the family together. It's becoming increasingly more difficult because we want so badly to be together, and we want so many things for the kids to be together too, and they want to be together, and it's just impossible for us to do it on our own. Kenny and his kids came into Teresa's life at really the perfect time because Teresa's kids were still dealing with not only their parents' divorce, but also the sudden death of their father. After my dad dying, I think it's probably one of the best things that's happened to her, meeting somebody that can make her happy and all of us happy. Kenny, you know, he really makes up for that whole gone, you know, my dad. He, I mean, when things go bad, you know, Kenny's always there for any of us. The three and a half, almost four years, my mom's been with Kenny. She's been the happiest. I mean, he's been there for her through the losses that we've had. And he does kind of feel like our own dad, and we've bonded a lot more with him. Mom and Kenny aren't married, but we still feel like brother and sisters. And we have fun together and laugh, and that we haven't been able to laugh. Sorry. <laughs> but you're making me cry. Like that for the longest time. So it'd be awesome if, if Mom and Kenny could actually live together and a house together where we could forget about everything that's happened to us and live a normal life instead of living two separate lives and not having that laughter and happiness with us 24 seven. ABC, if you can at all find it anywhere in your heart to come and help us to try to please be a family. We we would forever be indebted to you. This is a happy story. It's about a family who just want to spend time together. And if we can build them a house, their love is going to make it a home. So what do you say? Can we do this? Yeah, we yeah. can do it. Well, here's the cool thing, OK? First, we're going to go by Teresa's place. We're going to pick up her and her kids, surprise them, get them on the bus. Then we're going to go over to Kenny's house and surprise them, all right? Okay. And by the end of the week, we're going to bring this family together. What do you say? Can we do this? Yeah. Well, bring it in here, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? This particular door knock 
was unique. It was two locations. And we were gonna go pick up Teresa and the kids and surprise them, and then we're gonna go over to Kenny's house and surprise him and the kids. And they're two separate families that we're gonna make one. Here we go. Good morning, Fullerton family! Teresa! The second that we all met Teresa and her three kids, you could just see all of us sort of glow and, and they were so excited and they were screaming and crying and you can tell that they'd just been through so much together. They just want to be one family. This is basically just half of your family, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. What we need to do is go to the bus. We're gonna go over and check out the rest of your family, okay? All right, you guys ready? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, follow me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. To see Ty and the whole gang standing outside, knowing that they just answered my prayer of um, what I've been wanting and waiting for, for my family. I knew in that moment, our lives would be changed forever. You wanna help me do this? I will help you do it. Okay, here we go. Good morning, Mahachad family! Kenny, Erica, and Justin, come on out here! When we look at the interaction between the Mahachek and Fullerton family, it's as if they've been a family all along. Just like the kids melding together perfect, Ken and Teresa seem meant for each other. I mean, there isn't room for really anybody else in this house. There's barely enough room for the kids that you have. Um, I mean, have you thought about just like selling this house and then and then trying to find another house? Or? The issue with that is, is that all the repairs that would have to be made to, to make this house a sellable house would overrun the equity in it. I wouldn't have anything when I was done. And the really tough part is uh, you've got Kenny, who really wants to be the dad for, for all these kids. So he spends his time going back and forth between two houses so that he can connect with both his families. How has your life changed since you, you met Teresa? I didn't know that someone would care about me as much as she does. Um, I've never felt more loved by anyone than her. And, and I don't know that I've ever felt the way I feel about her towards anyone either. You know, even in the very beginning when we were friends, it was just something that has fit together like a puzzle piece. And, and we just fit together. Have you thought about marriage? Oh, absolutely. You know, I can't ask a woman to marry me without having any idea in sight when we can actually be in the same house. You could see in his eyes that he loves this woman with all his heart. His second chance, he wants to do it right. And he wants to make her the happiest woman in the world. of how do you fit that large of a family into such a small place that needed so much help. Now we have one family, one home, no more living apart. Fullerton Mahachek family, go check out your new home. Let's go make yes. it a home. Let's go make it a home. for a moment and hug Kenny because you only get one chance to walk through the door the first time. And it was beautiful. It was so warm and it was so inviting. And I'm home. <laughs> Seeing that house and knowing that I get to start over, I get a second chance. And it's just unbelievable. 
So guys, what do you think? Oh my God. Oh, this oh, is my so God. beautiful. Right? You guys are, uh, I've never seen a more emotional family. <laughs> I feel bad, I'm just so in shock, like I don't feel like this is my house. So I'm well just... here's the cool thing, man, this is all yours. They got emotional, I mean, this was a big deal to them. This is everything they've ever wanted. This was their dream. All I kept hearing from them was like, it's absolutely perfect, it's absolutely beautiful. So that's a good sign. I made your bedroom my special project this week. Thank you. Thank you. I would love it if you guys walk through there and check out your brand new master bedroom suite. I hope you like it. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at the pictures, honey. <laughs> Look at Thank the kids. There we are. Oh, my God. For real, that was us? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. The photographs of our wedding day will constantly remind us of how special that day was. Jay um, couldn't have given us a more special gift. Look at the paintings on the walls. Wall. So do you see what this is? This is all they came up with. It's basically two family trees growing together. That symbolizes what you guys are. You guys are two trees that have a family that's branching out. And now you guys have got a place where those trees can really kind of grow together. I use kind of the tree itself as, as my inspiration here. And that's why over here, you see this headboard? This oh, symbolizes, yeah. symbolizes the branches of the trees growing as well. It's beautiful. We can remind ourselves every day when we're in there that that's our families coming together. The thought that he put into the trees growing together, that was just perfect.